You see, in America we have rights, and those rights are provided to us based on our citizenship and our biology, not at all. Our citizenship is our birthright to America. So when a political consultant is talking to politicians, he has rights to do so across any social media spectrum, just like any other human being in America. But there are bastards of Satan who like to steal rights. And when they steal rights, they steal a person's time. I have the right to the keys on my computer working correctly. I have the right to my F keys on my computer working correctly. But someone has been ruining my rights to protect my computer from hacking. They've actually abused my F keys, which most people know are the keys across the top of the keyboard that give you fast access to the interworkings of a computer. I've been able to prevent prevent some of the problems by utilizing what I know in my computer knowledge and technology skills to fix when they hurt my computer, but they've now hacked those too. The liars of America like to take away rights, and they do so immorally because they are not God in a man's life, and they do so illegally and federally illegally because at no time do you have the right to attack someone's profitability center. A man's computer today, a woman's computer today, is a part of their profitability center. A mortgage broker will use a computer to look for leads and find homes across the community faster. A real estate agent will promote a home that most people want to live in for shelter, for safety, for getting out of the winter elements and the summer heat by enlisting photographic capabilities of them or their cell phone or their family or friends and posting them up so that people can see what they need. The same when you're traveling. You're going to hotels that have different rules and regulations in the industry about who can and cannot enter that hotel room on what basis. And yet I've stayed in hotels that have been owned by Indian people and have found that their black employees have entered my hotel room when I've been asleep stealing thumb drives. Or was it the person that put me up, a policeman and his caring girlfriend or wife that ran into me illegally or unintentionally or accidentally at a Fisher's Goodwill store where I was looking for a new bag because more than 43 of my property bags, my luggage, my backpacks, my briefcases, the things that I carry things in for me have been cut and ripped and put holes in them. Who is the immoral hacker is not the problem today. Who is the stalkers in America today? What is the game plan? What is the play? Is it to debilitate someone's life because that is a federal offense? Stalking is federally illegal. Cybercrime is illegal. Attacking a man's livelihood is illegal. Stealing his advertising material is illegal. Utilizing someone else's copywritten work as if it's yours or selling it to your friends and family is also illegal. It doesn't belong to you. No man's computer belongs to you.